everything. Di that directed anything you were in. The first bigger thing that I did was Todd Morris, and he's he's actually still a good friend. And we're we're talking about doing another movie together, something kind of apocalyptic. We should talk about some things that, that are coming up. I, so you've got a bunch of films on IMDb, and I also want to talk about Choose because we got a special clip there. What would you like to start with? Choose. Yeah. <laughs> Choose. Choose is intent. It's about a woman who is four months pregnant who finds out that she has brain cancer. Oh. And because she's a very devout Catholic, she um, has to put her foot down and, you know, make everybody around her realize that she will not do anything to jeopardize the life of the baby. Mm. She will not take any treatment until the baby's far enough along to be born. And it's just a really, really intense, intense, intense film. And um, for me, like, there were. You know, I don't personally know anybody, <laughs> you know, in my immediate family that died of cancer, mm -hmm. but throughout the film I was, like, getting into this this state of, like, utter, you know, grief and depression. I'm like, what is going on? What's going on? And it, it brought me back to this point that I realized my, my grandmother died of breast cancer when my mom was 14. Really? And my mom got married when she was 17 and had me when she was 18. It was like a very quick, and this has always been like something that's in, it's in, your core. in my, that I'm aware of like this deep sadness and this grief that's in my mom. And being in shoes and playing that kind of role of like, you know, being so in touch with that kind of level of grief and, and you know, life and death kind of thing really made me realize what my mom has probably lived with her entire life. Sure. And so I think that was like one of the, really intense things that um, I got out of Choose. And it made me feel so much closer to my mom. And, and I, I mean, she's already my best friend and I love her so much. Chills, <laughs> thinking about having that come to surface when you didn't even realize it was yeah. there. And that's something I think being an actor, that happens a lot. We don't, re you know, you don't realize that those things are deep inside us. So. Yeah. Anything else coming up that you want to promote? Like it was like yes, actually, I'm about to go to Paris on oh. Tuesday. Um, Paris. When I did, can you get us some rats from Paris? Yes, absolutely. I'll send them FedEx. <laughs> On ice day. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Dry ice. <laughs> um, when I did Gravity, um, Eric Schaefer and I became pretty good friends. It was just one of those things like we yeah. clicked. And you know, I had always loved like my life's in turnaround. I think that's like one of the most amazing films. So we became really good friends, yes. and you know, I've always respected the movies that he's made. Yeah. And um, he, there was a script that I showed him that would be shot in Paris. And because of the success of *The Gun for Jennifer*, it played in movie theaters in Paris for a long time, and all over France. And it still plays in France like a couple of times a year as a double feature with *Belle du Jour*. I mean, it's crazy. <laughs> And um, so Eric and I are going to Paris, and there's a script that he's in the process of writing that we are going to star in, and we're looking for like a French female lead to like be the third part That's of this so thing. That's so exciting! Speak French, yeah. don't you? Oui, oui. Can you tell us what the film is called, or is that on the? It's called Winter, okay. and it's actually kind of a sequel to his film Fall. Okay. Oh. And wow. um, and he said that he wants to make four um, of this series. It's fall, winter, spring, and then summer in his lifetime. And he wants them each space like 10 years apart. And this is actually going, it's about the, um, to make it really simple without giving anything away. It's like about a love affair that happens within the Paris underground. Ooh, that sounds thrilling. And he likes the, like underground. the underground. Yeah, he I really live under It's yeah. dark. She lives underground. Because my eyes but. are very sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> Deborah, is there anything else in the works? It's wonderful. Yeah, actually, um, there is a movie called um, Signs of Cool that I've gotten uh -huh. attached to. Pretty fun, kind of like, um, uh, what's that potion formula? Love potion number nine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like that, but with teenage boys. This episode is called Zombie Love Potion. <gasps> well, there you go. Zombie so, Love yeah. Potion. Now, what about. It's the theme. Dun, dun, dun. What about Rebirth? Is Reborn. That Reborn. Reborn, Reborn That's a is. Reproduction? Yes. This is going to be shot next May in um, Detroit and Chicago. Oh. And um, it's a really cool script written by this guy, John Lee Brody, who um, I met through being signed on to Science of Cool. Oh. We're both in that. And um, he wrote this, and he's gotten all these great other people to be in it and everything. And my character 
is actually it, this um, immortal ninja assassin. Yeah! Oh. Yeah, yes. and a very dark, scary oh. woman. Ooh, with just... like, I'm gonna get to dye my hair dark brown. Oh. Mahogany. Do they need zombies big... on that? You need to uh, No zombies, but, but ninjas. ninjas. And assassins. Ninjas. And how are you gonna prepare for that? This is all like getting Linda Hamilton. Yeah. <laughs> Leaning out, you know, pumping up, getting really like, you know, a fighting machine. I'm sure you'll, I'm sure you'll get the assassin thing down. Please do not I've seen you do that before. <laughs> it's gonna be good. <laughs> That's very exciting. Yeah. Can't wait Don't to go see out that. back and near winter the Winter sounds fantastic. Winter we will get attacked. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think right. so sounds too. Beautiful. Now, where can people find out about Choose the Movie? On Facebook. There's yeah. a Facebook page for uh, Choose the Movie. All right. And um, you can right also, there. like, um, uh, like Facebook there, Robbie Bryan. Yeah, yeah. B R Y A N. This was fantastic. Now, let's take a look at that clip from Choose. Oh, cool. Yes, very excited. Well, Dr. Spiegelman, I think you didn't bring in this busy team of doctors to celebrate my birthday. I particularly know this because my birthday isn't for another three months. And I doubt very much I won a prize for being your one millionth patient. That's not it, is it? <laughs> so why don't you tell me why we're all here?